Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only Fire Model type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Last time, well, I got a bit pissed off. And I also evolved starters on my team. This time, we're going through Rock Tunnel. From there, eh, we'll, we'll see what happens depending on how much time I have. I might go battle Blue, Pokemon Tower, or, well, I might just go right to Celadon City. We'll just have to wait and see. So as you can see, it's pretty dark. Now, you don't necessarily need Flash, but it does make things a lot easier. In Generation 1, you definitely didn't need it, because you could actually see the walls just fine. You couldn't see the trainers or various items on the ground. I would argue the only generation where you absolutely had to have Flash was Generation 2. Because in Generation 2, it really was just pitch black except for entrances and exits. Ladders would still be, would be completely dark. You just couldn't see anything. I actually remember one time when... Well, let's just say I let somebody play my gold version cartridge one time. And the dipshit decide, oh, I'm gonna go to the World Islands and get stuck in the very bottom without Flash. How they accomplish this, I don't know. Oh, Lutone, that's a cool Pokemon. But yeah. As a result, and because they'd saved down there and I didn't have any other way to get out, I had to find my way out the hard way. That was the last time I ever let them borrow a game from me. I will not mention this person because I am still in contact with this person, by the way, so... Okay. You are going to be... Otis. Okay. I'll catch ya. We'll call you... Pyrite. Or as it's more commonly known, Fool's Gold. You have a Repel? Okay, you know what? Actually, we're gonna switch over to, uh, Home Doom. We'll battle them both. Might as well. Because I am training a full team, so I might as well battle everyone. If it was just a solo run, I would consider doing minimum battles. I might actually do a minimum battle run one time on this channel, I don't know. It'd be a solo run if I do that, because otherwise I'm not going to have anything that's competitively leveled. Let me know if you guys want to see that. That could be interesting. I'll have to decide what game to do it in. But, we'll see. Might be Gen 1, because it's relatively easy to do it in that game. Gen 2 could also work as well. Because in Gen 3, you start to get what are called spinners. These are trainers that just randomly turn in any direction. And, well... You can't predict if they're going to see you or not, necessarily. And, well, they're also the bane of speedrunners for that reason. Now, there is actually a trick for getting past them, at least in Ruby and Sapphire. Which, uh, it involves basically frame-perfect manipulation using the mock bike. So that way, even if they do turn to see you, 
they won't it won't register. Oh wait. I thought I had I thought I had the item finder registered. Never mind. Nope. Okay. Let me check. Did it pick up an item? No. Hmm. Surprising. I mean, it does have pickup, right? I think it does. Yes, it does. It just haven't picked up anything. Oh, yeah. This guy teaches you Rock Slide. We'll just see if a Pokemon I have can learn it. They can, but... Hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna use it. It's, it's not that good of a move. It can miss. There really weren't any good dark type, at, well, rock type attacks rather, in uh, the first three generations. All right, let's swap you out now. Oh, there's an item up there. I'll have to go back and get that. Get that rope. Yo, shard. Not sure if that has any use here. I know that in uh, well, in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, that's how you get the, the evolution stones. There's only one of each in the overworld. Other than that, you have to uh, trade. You have to trade those shards. There's a few that you can find in the overworld, but otherwise, you have to get them on wild Pokemon. Off the top of my head, um, Relicaf carries green sh holds green shards occasionally. Okay, this is gonna annoy me. Ooh, the Black Flute. The Black Flute, um, this decreases the rate of wild Pokemon encounters. We'll use that. Occasionally, I guess. It doesn't work like a repel where you never encounter them, but it decreases the rate at which you find them. Okay, let's swap again. Nothing here? Alright. Now, let's leave Rock Tunnel. And now we're outside. Okay, so yeah, they changed the layout. You can't go the other way now, I think. So now, you have to battle these trainers. Oh, an unknown. That's a Pokemon you don't see much. Although, I have actually used unknown in one of my monotypes. Um, specifically in Gen 2. Because, well, get this. Unknown is the only psychic type you can get in Gen 2 prior to fighting the first gym leader. Granted, this isn't terrible. I mean, uh... What you want to do, if you're going to do that, is you want an unknown that has either... Well, I, actually, ideally, you want an unknown that has, e, that has the rock hidden power type. Because then that'll let you get through... That'll let you get past Faulkner and Bugsy. Under my rule set, you can also get Slowpoke in Azalea Town, so that would be your second Psychic type. You have to just have to evolve it into Slowpoke, into Slowbro or Slowking, but that's besides the point. Okay, so yeah, here's Pokemon Tower, and we are going to fight the rival. Oh, I picked up something. Actually, you know what? Be right back. I'm gonna go and get Eve. Okay, now let's go take on Blue. Mind you, the last time I soloed him with Eevee. Let's see if he does any better this time. I doubt it. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, he put up... He put up Reflect. Cheat, son of a bitch. Hmm. Wow, you're actually gonna be a bit more of a challenge. Not by much, though. Oh, uh, she's Brick Break. <laughs> oh, I'm a stinker.
<laughs> yeah, because unlike you, I've actually done things in my life. Anyways, moving on, because we can't actually go up to the upper floors yet. Well, okay, actually we could, but we wouldn't be able to get to the top without the soul scope anyway. We're just gonna go to Celadon City. I'm actually making pretty... Well, actually, no. First, let's go south, because there's a bunch of stuff we can get south of Lavender Town. Now, up here in Vanilla Fire Red, you can get a TM for return. Yep! You get return! Which... Turn, very good move. Normal type. Its base power maxes out at 102 and it has 20 power points. So, it's a very good move. I was using that because it wouldn't trigger rough skin. Okay, fuck off. Fuck off, Goldeen. I hope you enjoyed that because this is gonna hurt. Oh, I'm small fry. Fuck you, dude. Yes, small fry. I guess that's what your wife says when you take when you take off your pants. Moving on. Oh, so this. Okay, so there's a twisted spoon here. It gives you the ability to boost your psychic attacks. I know I'm giving that to. Uh. Oh, you have a lucky egg. Yeah, you don't need that right now. Yeah, I'm not taking that shit from you. I also use these crappy potions. They give me 25 at the start of the game. Like I said, I, I was pretty suspicious by how generous they were. I mean, it could be because, well... The early game is very stingy with money, and there's a lot more trainers in the early game. And, of course, there's Snorlax. Okay, so apparently in this house, there's a move tutor. Does this guy require you to, uh... I was about to say, does he require an item? I don't think he does. Okay, so he's a free move reminder. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Let's see. Flame wheel. Hmm, should I? Yeah, we'll just. Oops, not that one. Ooh, heat wave. Yes, yeah, so that's actually a little more powerful than flamethrower. I can hit multiple targets in a battle, but it can also miss. So, no, thank you. So, yeah, this chick tells you about the Marowak. By the way, in the last episode, I showed you a screen cap. In one playthrough, the Ghost Marowak was shiny. Now let's leave town. And like most routes, this one appears to be heavily redesigned. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Why, it's Jigglypuff! Viewed from above! That's an old reference to the anime, for those of you who don't get it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, the game is called I Win and You Lose. No, it can't go that way. Sometimes it's hard to tell where you're allowed to walk and where you're not. At least on this map, because... With so I guess that grass is just there for show. Good to know. Eh. Yeah. Okay. 
I figured we were just outside town. So might as well go back and heal Eevee real quick. Wins, huh? Twice the pride, double the fall. Max either. Oh. Okay. Be right back. Have I mentioned more uh, before how much I hate HM slaves as a concept? I was tempted to actually just use a wall hack to get around that. If I ever decide to do that, it's just going to be to get around this kind of stupid thing. Fun fact, in Duration 1, originally HMs were going to be items that you use, not Pokemon moves, so you didn't have to waste slots on your team for fucking HMs. Oh, you know what? No, fuck you. We're not playing that game. If I had my way, that would be how HMs would be handled. It would be just items. That is kind of what, well, that's almost what they kind of did in later generations, where you, ha you can either call upon a Pokemon to ride on them, or that was in Gen 7 and 8, I think. I forget if it was in Gen 6. Uh, Baton Pass, that's tempting, because I could use it to boost my stats. Hmm, let me, let me think about this. Nah, we're not going to bother. The only stat boosting move that. No, I said no! The only stat boosting move that Eevee or Flareon could really learn would be. If I recall correctly, that would be Double Team. If you could learn something like Calm Mind or Bulk Up, that would be another story. I would absolutely use Baton Pass for that. Oh, bikers. Bikes acting up, huh? Did you try turning it on off and on again? Seriously, you'd be amazed how often that actually solves a problem. Fuck off! Anyways. Uh... Oh. Escape rope. Okay. That might be useful situationally. Rambling gaming dude. In Gen 1, it was a rambling gambling dude. And the gamers were gamblers. That got censored because... As I'd explained in my Emerald playthrough, it's the same reason they changed the game corners. It's because the EU doesn't like, you know, gambling, even if it's fake. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, you're you're okay. You don't like fake gambling in a Pokemon game where there is no risk. But real gambling in a mobile game marketed at kids, that's a okay. Fucking politicians. Anyways, moving on. Well, I haven't been there yet, we'll see. Oh, there are items here. Deep Sea Scale, which, uh... That's basically useless, because... Well... The evolution conditions were changed. Heal powder. Okay, that's basically a full heal. Waterstone. Well, if I was doing a water playthrough, that would actually be useful. Shell bell. Yes, please. That's actually good. Um, am I going to give it to anything? I'll hold on to that for later.
Thunderstone. Is there going to be a Firestone in here? Okay, so yeah, there's another Snorlax blocking your way. Okay, this route hasn't changed much. It's gotten a bit bigger, but that's about it. Oh, there's another item here somewhere. Max Potion! Good! And now we have reached Celadon City. There's a couple things we can do here, but first, let's heal. First things first, let's go to the department store and get the item we really need. Oh yeah, it's time. You know, we're actually going to get a couple of these in case we need them later, because there's several Pokémon that evolve with Firestones. But the one we need right now is you. Oh look, another shiny where it's almost exactly the same as the regular color scheme. That's kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Now we want to go this way, because there's something we want over here, and I'm sure you know what that is. First, let's go battle these assholes. Uh, no, Shadow Ball. Okay, now over here, oh, wait, what? I thought you would get fly here, what the fuck? At three million? Three million yen? Actually, hold it. Actually, that would be about 30 grand, which, <laughs> for a house? Man, I wish you could buy a house for 30 grand a day. Moving on, we come over here and find ourselves this guy. That's the coin cake. Over here you go, a lumberry. Well, in Manila, that's a PowerPoint. Now we go into the condo. Over here, talk to this lady, and she'll give you the tea you need to enter uh, Saffron City. We'll give that to the guards in a sec. There's a soft sand over here. That's good for your ground type attacks. And just like a vanilla, you can get an Eevee up at the top of the condominiums. Now, moving east, we can uh, bribe the guard. Yeah, drink it all, piggy. And finally, we reach Saffron City. So, I guess we'll just do one more thing here. Talk to this guy and get a free Psychic TM. I think this is going to be it for now. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. Um, and I will see you all next time.